let us learn more about the sensor readout circuit carrying forward from our previous in the previous session we showed that in the inverting amplifier configuration the sensor can be added in the input side and the feedback capacitor can be added here and there is a resistor feedback present to give a DC path for the output. Now this output is buffered or the voltage output is buffered and then a bandpass filter is applied to reject all the low frequency DC noise and only maintain the high frequency components or the mid band frequency components that are needed. For that you would need to give a voltage which would act as your sensing voltage or act called as activation voltage. So as you add a voltage onto the sensor, an activation potential or an activation voltage is provided. So depending upon the V that is present here, which we call as a V sensor, the capacitance would respond and that respond capacitance is now factored into the CF to give the output. So this ratio of CF by C1 is given here. So what would be the output ratio that is present? So the voltage output when there is a capacitance present is given as 1 plus C sensor divided by CF all times your input voltage C. So now this is your factor and this voltage is now the output voltage seen here. Further, you are adding a buffered voltage here. Right? Voltage is gets buffered to get more voltage here. Also, you will have to have some amount of current drive. Current drive present here such that your filtering action can happen. Now, what is this bandpass filter? Bandpass filter is uh, factor where with the frequency on the x axis and the voltage or the power or magnitude on the right axis. So the amount of uh, power that is present in the mid band range is increased. The reason they want the mid band is this capacitance allows the high frequency signals to pass and it blocks the DC. Correct? So any DC voltage present from VC gets blocked. Right, DC gets blocked here, and only the AC signal, only the AC signal gets passed. So this AC signal now is then transferred back, and this difference to the AC signal which is captured is then brought out. 